For many of us, Cartoon Network was a huge part of our childhood, but at times, many of the seemingly innocent cartoon shows actually had some hidden, inappropriate jokes that were easily missed when you were a kid. So without further ado, let's take a trip down memory lane and take a look at some of these moments. These are Cartoon Network adult jokes, dirty to dirtiest. The Flintstones, Barney's Three Heads. Although cavemen aren't known for their intelligence, Barney Rubble takes a considerable amount of time to understand things, especially when it comes to matters of anatomy. In one episode, when he visits the costume shop with his pal Fred, Barney tells him how he wishes to be taller. Fred jokingly tells him that he would need another head to do that, after which Barney asks what he would need three heads for. A second later, the two men chuckle as a laugh track plays in the background, hinting at a subtle adult joke. Adventure Time – Tears of Dating Cartoon Network's Adventure Time has its own way of making subtle jokes that usually aren't obvious. But in one scene when Jake and Finn are discussing the tiers of dating, the 15th tier is something that would be more appropriate for an adult audience. He says, right now you're at tier 1, which is hugging, but pretty soon you'll be at tier 2. Jake explains the tiers one by one before he's interrupted by a curious Finn who points at tier 15 and asks about it. Jake quickly replies, stay away from that, do not do tier 15. Courage the cowardly dog, Muriel's question. In the season 4 episode Ball of Revenge, Eustace wants to get rid of Courage, so he calls the dog's worst enemies and gathers them in the basement to devise a plan. When Muriel asks about what's going on in the cellar, he lies to her, saying that he has a men's club and that she should bring them sandwiches. But when Muriel does that, she's chained to a wall and is ordered to scream so that Courage follows her into the basement. However, before she gets to know about the villains hiding in the dark, she asks Eustace, this is one of those naughty men's clubs, isn't it? Courage the cowardly dog, what are they watching? Another scene that made a subtle nod towards something a bit more mature involves Courage getting caught while watching something on his computer. Muriel is first shocked to see what's on the dog's computer screen, but soon her disturbance turns into curiosity. Teen Titans, disappointed by design. Based on the DC Comics superhero team of the same name, Teen Titans premiered on Cartoon Network in 2003 and went on to win the hearts of fans for five seasons. However, even an action-adventure themed animated show like this one isn't free of sneaky adult innuendos. In the season one episode named Switch, the Puppet King sends the Titans a cardboard box of puppets resembling them. When Beast Boy gets to see his own puppet, he's disappointed that the lower regions in the design are not accurate enough. Cow and Chicken, Chew on What? For two seasons, this Cartoon Network show followed the unusual adventures of two funny siblings named Cow and Chicken. But the season two episode titled Buffalo Gals made an adult reference which resulted in this episode being censored. It shows a group of female bikers who literally chew on carpet. All you have to do is look up the phrase in the Urban Dictionary and you'll see why this episode was banned. The Amazing World of Gumball, Watching the Other Fruit Many might remember the Spongebob episode, where Spongebob was almost caught watching something inappropriate. Well, a similar scene was featured in The Amazing World of Gumball, during which Banana Joe is shown watching an interesting video of fruit being opened. Seconds later, Gumball catches him and is in shock over what's shown on Joe's laptop screen. Regular Show, Smart Wordplay When Rigby and Benson from Regular Show seemingly can't stop talking about balls, especially their size, it's hard not to take things out of context. Sure, the topic may be just ordinary balls, but adults can easily spot the suggestive wordplay. Justice League, Fastest Man Alive this cartoon featured many of kids' favorite superheroes from the DC Universe, but there were also some moments in the show that were definitely directed at an older audience. For instance, the conversation between The Flash and Hawkgirl, which probably flew over the heads of youngsters. After The Flash proudly calls himself the fastest man alive, Hawkgirl replies, which might explain why you can't get a date. Turns out speed isn't always an asset. Johnny Bravo, Blindfold Memory Johnny Bravo really pushed the limits when it included a joke that was way dirtier than any of Johnny's pickup lines. In one episode, a fictional Farrah Fawcett is seen playing pin the tail on the donkey with her little cousin. During the scene, a major blindfold joke is slipped in. 
When Ferris says, this is so much fun, I can't remember the last time I was blindfolded. Oh wait, yes I do. Young Justice, Kid Flash's Habit. Young Justice may have maintained an innocent premise for its viewers, but it does make an adult joke in the episode where the entire squad experiences memory loss while on a mission, as the rest of the team discovers the night versions of their superhero outfits. Kid Flash appears to have a problem. He can't stop poking himself. Ed, Ed, and Eddie, Eddie's magazines. Those familiar with the series also know how important Eddie's magazines are to him. We never got to see the contents of these magazines, but the show has other ways of making their nature clear. In one episode, Eddie's magazines are shown with titles Jiggy Jiggy, Frisky, and Chicks. Notice how they're also stored under Eddie's bed, alongside other things like junk food and soda that his parents restrict his access to. Most suggestively, the magazines are surrounded by crumpled up tissues, hinting at one of Eddie's hobbies. Ed, Ed, and Eddie note in the bathroom, in several scenes from the show, the bathroom wall is shown full of notes that often go unnoticed. But if you look closely, among so many normal notes like Lock Door and Walk Don't Run, there are some dirty ones too. Especially the note that says, Don't Touch Yourself. Ed, Ed, and Eddie, Dirty Joke, Winter Style. Another instance where the show made a reference aimed squarely at adults occurred in the episode Look Before You, Ed. In order to make a quick buck, Eddie starts using a snow clearing machine to serve up scrumptious snow cones to his classmates. As Ed begins scolding him, Eddie makes an adult joke. What's winter without a snow job? The Powerpuff Girls' accidental friend. Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup are exceptional fighters for sure, and they never fail to save the day. But at their core, they are still kids. So when a new girl named Robin moves in next door, the girls invite her over and introduce her to the professor. Bubbles also tells Robin that the professor created them in a lab by accident, which prompts Robin to reveal that she came into existence under similar circumstances. With genuine innocence, Robin says, It's okay, professor. I was an accident, too. The professor's facial expression says it all. The Powerpuff Girls just sharpening a pencil. Another adult joke in the Powerpuff Girls we overlooked as kids was the scene where Sedusa, who is disguised as Miss Bellum, holds the mayor's hand as he sharpens his pencil. At the very first sight, you'll be able to understand the inappropriate analogy that the show indirectly mentions. The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, His Hand. In the Season 5 episode, Billy and Mandy vs. the Martians, Erwin asks Mandy to hold his hand so that she doesn't fall. However, Mandy is instantly disgusted at the thought and bluntly says, Ew, no way, I know where that hand's been. We'll let you use your imagination on that one. Scooby-Doo, old enough to do what? In the episode titled A Scooby-Doo Halloween, Velma's cousin Marcy flirts with Fred, which makes Daphne seriously jealous. When Velma tells Marcy she had no idea it was her birthday, the flirting blonde says, Yep, I'm 18, able to legally vote. When she pauses in between, she looks at Fred, which clarifies what the word vote was hiding. Dexter's Laboratory, Dee Dee's Replacement. In the Season 2 episode, Dee Dee and the Man, Dexter finds a replacement for Dee Dee after her hyperactivity drives him insane. Soon afterwards, he finds himself accepting applications for Dee Dee's replacement and ends up hiring a tall, beautiful blonde woman as his lab assistant. The only thing is, he's quite attracted to her, which makes work difficult for him. During a scene in the episode, Dexter asks the woman to dance, to which she replies, that'll be 50 bucks extra. Dexter's Laboratory, Dad's Trophy. In the Season 2 episode, Nuclear Confusion, Dexter's in search of the third clue which Dee Dee left for him. He goes next door to the neighbor lady's house and starts looking for clues. That's when he accidentally catches a glimpse of the lady bending over. On her backside, we see the phrase, Dad's Trophy. Let us know in the comments section. Are there some other adult jokes in Cartoon Network shows that we missed? Make sure to tell us. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and binge more of our videos. But most importantly, stay wicked.